Your Excellency Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa, um, Dr. Fatih Birol, uh, IEA Director General. Uh, let me acknowledge Your Excellency the presence of uh, EU Energy Commissioner Kadri Simpson, uh, my friend Jurgensen, Dan Jurgensen from Denmark. Uh, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Your Excellency, we've got a very senior delegation in the energy space in the house in Nairobi, Kenya, coming to Africa for the first time after Kenya was uh, nominated and appointed as an associate member of this uh, prestigious IEA club, an organization with first wealth in the energy space. Your Excellency, when I attended one of the conferences sometimes in Paris, I learned that when we had the geopolitical challenges in Europe, Europe used IEA when Russia pulled out the energy in the power trading space in Europe to stabilize Europe very quickly because there was so much power coming out of Russia. And when that was withdrawn and the problem that ensued, it was IEA that basically uh, the whole of Europe looked at to be able to uh, stabilize the power requirement very quickly uh, for, for, the con for that continent. So it's my honor to welcome you to this year's Global Energy, Energy Conference co-hosted by IEA. This is event marks a significant milestone as the first time the forum is being held in Africa. Uh, in an acknowledgement of the critical role the continent will play in clean energy transition and Kenya's strong leadership on energy efficiency in particular, we are thrilled to have such esteemed delegates in attendance. Like I've mentioned, we really are honored and I want to welcome all of us again to Nairobi, Kenya. I'm sure that the Deputy President will do, will do much, much better. Your Excellency, Kenya is an associate member of IEA. This partnership provides Kenya and other African countries direct access to IEA vast reservoir of expertise, best practices in energy policy, technology, data analysis, like I've mentioned what IEA was able to do for Europe, and modeling. Through this collaboration, we are poised to strengthen our energy sector and advance towards uh, sustainable development goals. Kenya Association with the IEA underscores our commitment to international energy standards and best practices. It enhances our potential to attract increased private capital inflows to our energy sector. Additionally, our partnership with the IEA facilitates capacity building and knowledge exchange, empowering us to implement effective energy policies and technologies tailored to our specific needs and challenges. In collaboration with IEA, Your Excellency, the IEA, uh, Kenya is working on initiatives aimed at promoting renewable energy deployment, enhancing energy efficiency, accelerating access to clean cooking and strengthening policy uh, planning. Through joint efforts, we are striving to build a resilient and sustainable energy uh, future for our nation and contribute to global efforts in combating uh, climate change. The conference brings together ministers, CEOs, and other senior leaders to accelerate progress towards global, the goal of doubling energy efficiency uh, progress this decade as agreed uh, by governments in COP28. The ninth global conference also represents an opportunity to deepen collaboration and unlock opportunities for energy efficiency to ensure sustainable energy transition in emerging and developing economies. It is now my singular pleasure, Your Excellency, the Deputy President, to make your remarks officially, open the ninth global conference on energy efficiency, and as I welcome the Deputy President, may I just ask all of us to be upstanding as we welcome the Deputy President. Your Excellency, Karibu Sana. Thank you.